What's good, y'all? Hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, so to kick off uh, today's day two of Firm Boys Squad Week, we'll be using Doppelganger Green and the Formula CK6. Actually, is it? It doesn't say CK6, but it has the butters and the ingredients in it, so it is. Oh, here it is. It's the old. Uh, it's the old uh, labeling. There it is. Formula CK6. I have other ones that they have it like more clear. <sighs> Interesting scent. Um, very musky. Um, normally I could pick out uh, individual scents, but not really with this one. I'll go over the scents in a minute. But uh, unfortunately, this isn't made anymore, and I don't really have the matching splash. But I do have a sample of it, so that's cool. Today we'll be going with uh, my Leonidum uh, Ariello Bulb 26 millimeter. Um, for the razor, I saw Ken's video this morning and I thought it was pretty funny uh, that he shat on uh, Corey's goat. So I thought I'd use his goat, crap on his. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he didn't really crap on it. He just compared it to the Rockwell. I thought it was interesting. But uh, yeah, I, f I feel like I've only used this twice. So I just want to get more in tune with it. Um, as I do with uh, all newer razors that I use. For the pre-shave, we'll be using Ken Surf's favorite or his go-to. This is called Prep. Um, I haven't even used it yet. Uh, apparently, it's like a multi-purpose, all-purpose kind of cream. You got a bunch of interesting photos on the back here. You got a baby, um, some lady in a bra. Maybe you could put it on your chest for something. I don't know. It's got like a menthol, medicinal very strong fragrance to it and that's why i haven't used it yet i feel like it would interfere with the scent but let's let's get into it um ken loves this stuff so he's actually uh one of the original wet shaving channels that i watched when i got into wet shaving more that and uh, nick shaves And then I think later on, a few months later, maybe a year later, I uh, started watching Eye Lather. And then um, he kind of migrated over to the IMCDB project and I started watching him. Very interesting. It, yeah, it's like a strong medicinal menthol kind of thing. But yeah, so last time I did a 30 second load and I regretted it. I'm gonna try to stick to 10 seconds here as soon as I close this, if I can. All right. And for the blade, I'll be using a Wizomet on its eighth use. So let's go 10 seconds. It's still very soft. Yeah, because I'll just be adding water all day long. All right, 10 seconds. That's plenty. <laughs> if I need more, I'll go back to it. Whew, all right. I saw a DK video last night. He used uh, Sheep by Sterling, which I'm a big fan of. I've been trying to get, yeah, I can feel the menthol. I can feel it. I've been trying to get um, Corey to try this, try that base, the mutton tallow, because me and many others think it's superior. Even if you ask Rod, the artisan, he'll say that. But uh, I'll do its own video eventually. All right, we're done painting. Yeah, this stuff is a lot is like crazy. Um, for a, uh, a vegan soap, it definitely doesn't feel like it. It takes a ton of water the same way a lot of tallow soaps do. Not all of them, but some of them, reminiscent of those and um, it's just a tried and proven base that a lot of people seem to love. But yeah, um, if you overload it, you will be lathering for some time. <laughs> it just takes a crap ton of water. I think this is Marion's favorite, Marion the Barbarian. He loves uh, some 
Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, they're very creative with the scents. I'll tell you that, Doug. Very, very creative. <laughs> it's a lot of scents. For me, it was overwhelming. But yeah, I thought I'd kick off, uh, not kick off, but continue Fougere Week with this scent. It's very musky. That's all I could say. But I will go over the scent notes in a second. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this prep cream, but... All right, so the top notes are rosemary, sage, rosewood, laurel. The mid middle notes are lavender and geranium. And the base notes are moss, honey, tonka bean, musk, and amber. So, like I said earlier, I can't really pick up the individual notes like I can in some other scents, other soaps. Um, I could definitely pick up the musk, the honey, the oak moss, what else? Uh, yeah, some, I'd say some rosemary. Um, I've never really tried geranium on its own, even though I've had it in other soaps, so I can't really tell. But those are mainly it. Working on uh, 24 hours of growth. Yeah, so this has a ton of bleed fuel. Not a ton, um, not a ton, but it's definitely got more than a lot of razors. Ah. This, uh, either this blade is on an end of life or uh, I'm not getting the angle right or something, I don't know. Felt a little rough over here. Hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, um, I really like this handle, very ergonomic, but the looks is just interesting to me. I don't know, I guess I'm indifferent. It doesn't jump out to me as one of those badass handles. Definitely uh, functional though. Uh, I know DK hates that handle. I think Ken likes it. Alright. Feels kind of rough. You know what? Sorry guys. I'm going to take this blade out. It's tugging right now on the first pass. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the Wizomet just doesn't fare well in this razor. Um, trying to look for a fresh blade here. Uh, what do I have? I have an asset. I have a lot more, but yeah, I've actually got Platinums, Astrogleans, but uh, an assets are my go-to. Yeah, that was feeling way too tuggy. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. The blade tabs, I will admit that I'm that I'm normally not a fan of. They help with uh, screwing on the blade pretty well. Uh, let's just rehydrate a bit. All right, there you go. Let's see that. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. So yeah, um, Phoenix or uh, Shaving released this um, soap to kind of be an homage to the aromatic fougeres in the the aromatic fougere craze in the seventies. Seventies, that was kind of their wording, not mine. Um, honestly, I didn't really become uh, aware, so to speak, of fougeres till like a few months ago. I don't know much about them. Um, Ken loves it. <laughs> like it's, well, I like it. It's just, I mean, apparently I have a few of my men, so I do like it without realizing, but it's not my favorite. Just leave it at that. So 
so far shooting much better with the fresh NASA tell you that One thing I could appreciate about this razor is I personally find myself not having to buff as much. All right, that was the first pass. Let me rinse real quick. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do a full-on rinse today. Like I said, <laughs> takes a ton of water, but I only loaded 10 seconds, so it might have overhydrated, but it's all good. Yep. Let's see. You just got to keep working it. So um, what kind of separates this part? I don't know if I talked about the butters, but it uses uh, Kapaku butter, butter, Murumuru, and Bukhari butter. And that kind of what's, I guess, separates it from other uh, vegan soaps because it's so buttery. It kind of replaces the fats that you would normally get from uh, beef tallow, whether it be bear or uh, mutton or whatever tallow they're normally using these days. All right. So it's a lot thinner lather, but super hydrated. I like it. Yeah, so after using this two times, I don't think it's, it's not my goat. It might be just too much blade feel for my preference and that doesn't, ooh, we got some blood. That doesn't make it, um, it's just a matter of preference, you know, that doesn't make it any worse or better. but I like it enough that I want to keep it, at least for now. And that's kind of what matters. But yeah, got a cut over there. But yeah, I'm pretty close to BBS. Yeah, but I haven't tried the, uh, what did TK use? It was the Varen, the Varen, Varen. I haven't tried that one. Tomorrow I'm gonna use uh, soap I never used before. Soap scent. I'm excited to use it. You can't get it anymore. And, um, that might be my favorite fougere. Oh, it's so my number two. You'll see. You'll see my number one later in the week. I just head over heels for that scent. It was just. It blew me away. Once I got the sample, I ordered it within an hour. Like, yeah. After have, using so many razors, I don't know if I would make this my goat. I mean, if you're someone that approaches uh, safety razor shaving and you like to focus on your technique more and you don't want it to be as, you know, like certain razors, I feel like I could close my eyes and shave this one. I feel like I gotta be very careful because it's positive bleed exposure.
but um, damn, it's super efficient. It's a good razor. But that's what makes this hobby so great. We all have differing opinions. Not all of us, but we all agree on a lot of things. We all disagree on a lot of things. And that's what makes it interesting, man. I like all these debates and stuff. Like it's all fun sport at the end of the day. It's nothing personal. You know, we're all boys. We're all, or should I say grown men? <laughs> Just some females in the hobby too, actually. Uh, female artisans as well. We got uh, Moon Soaps. Mandy, we got Heather, who else? There's more. Uh, Hub City Soap, oh, I'm sorry, uh, that's David. It's H S H C S C. Highland Springs, so H S, I don't know, the abbreviations kill me. Yeah, but it's husband and wife. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> Yeah, I got some irritation here. We got one, two, three. This one doesn't count because it's the same bump I've had on my feet, my neck for like the last four days. So we'll see two. So my neck is a little tingly right now, but it is pretty close to DBS. That's the trade-off. Um, this could well again be user error. On the first pass, I was using a, a Wizomet that just didn't seem to agree with this. Uh, razor whether it was too old or what I don't know also with this knot for some reason it's softer than my other bulb only an item that I just got and I'm not sure which one I like more just thought I'd bring it up all right okay we're at 17 minutes ready This is my Lancaster, no, just kidding, this is Amazon. <laughs> the, uh, the Lancaster drop happened a couple weeks ago and I missed it. Um, hey man, those things sell out quick. And then what's his name, uh, Ken dropped, like, Ken had like three of them. Like, isn't that a flex? <laughs> I thought it was funny though. He was like, uh, Comparing both of them side by side, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, I decided to switch the blade out of this. This is the Feather Professional Super. As you can see, the blade sticks out more because it's wider. And to me, they're just sharper, which means less buffing. Still very smooth. Um, yeah, I just gotta hit the spot once and I'm good. I still see some hair, if I can get some focusing. All right. Yeah, my neck kind of hurts right now. Uh, uh, Tim Shaves has been using the uh, alum block again, alum stick or whatever, for the last couple of days. And I think he commented on my videos saying he had good re good results. And I don't know if I'm going to use a freaking alcohol splash that's like 90% alcohol and the freaking PAA, might as well use some alum, right? <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not crazy about <laughs> PAA splashes. Um, alcohol is great for, uh, I will say this, alcohol is great for, um, if you want the scent to last, it carries, it helps carry, I guess it helps the longevity of the fragrance, so to speak. So, yeah, I don't know how they get those toners to last as long. I don't think they do last as long, honestly. Maybe there's other factors. But that's what I heard. Pretty much done guys but yeah it felt a lot quicker for me right 20 minutes <laughs> um let's uh let's apply that, that aftershave i can't find my rescue potion actually we're gonna use the allen block <laughs> all right allen block i think this is omega ah uh -huh. 
yeah, this is burning bad. Ah, some people use this for feedback on their shaves. I haven't used this in months on my face. Um, yeah, but when I started really getting into more declaration soaps, the post shave for me was incredible, and this was taken away from that, and I didn't want to do that. But I found that this like helps, stops the bleeding, tightens the skin, and I feel like it doesn't hurt once, like initially it hurts, but for hours later, like the irrit if I would normally have irritation in that area, uh, it wouldn't be there if I used this. So pros and cons. All right, let me rinse it off real quick. What I used to do too is rub some of the lather on there because it's so freaking dry on my face. Like it's so dry, it just dissipates in seconds. <laughs> Look, all the leather's gone. Yep. Alright. Alright, time to use that splash. Where is it? So we'll be going with the Moon Soaps Unscented Balm. And the puck. Oh, I forgot. Did I mention this is a dupe of Paco Rabone? I forgot to say that. Doppelgangers are dupes, which I think is pretty cool. Hey, as long as it's not a Ventus. Actually, I don't mind a Ventus. I just think it's like the most hyped dupe, dupe like cologne. Why can't why can't why can't they dupe? Uh, what you call it? Uh, Herod more. Herod by Perfumes de Marley. Like that's an incredible fragrance, AKA Massacre of the Innocents. Whatever, I'm just gonna use the hell out of this. I inhaled some, all right. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Firm Boy Squad out.